Hi, so I'm Nick Skeeler, Classic and Sports Car Centre, and this video is about the 1919 Austin 20 horsepower. Now, this car was my own car until not this last Goodwood, but the Goodwood before. It was a car I ran through the summer of, of 2021. It is the oldest production Austin 20 known to the vintage Austin register, and it's a remarkable car. I fell in love with it because it had the performance and it had the sort of stature of a vintage Vauxhall or even a, a three litre Bentley of this sort of era. It was a remarkably well-made car. This particular example was built about 40 years ago and has spent some time in Germany. It was built in, uh, in rebuilt in Northern England by uh, an expert restorer called Stan Harding. And he built it using 16 gauge aluminium over English ash to a very traditional dual cowl Tourer body style. The engine is 3.6 litre, four cylinder. Stan convinced me that when he'd finished it, it was actually capable flat out of 70 miles an hour. Since the, car, the vehicle was built, it has been improved in a number of ways. Uh, one particularly important feature is that it has a Bentley type Laycock overdrive and what that means is that you're quite ha you're quite capable of traveling on a roads at around 55 miles an hour I tend not to go faster than that because Apart from the transmission brake the only other brakes It's got are on the rear wheels and whilst they're very efficient Obviously your stopping distance is greater than a four-wheel brake car now I sold this at Goodwood in 2021 for 42,000 pounds to a gentleman from the south he has changed it quite a bit. He spent more than £5,000 restoring all these beautiful nickel fittings on the car from the radiator to the wonderful CAV lighting system. He's also changed the colour from grey to blue and has repaired and improved the wings. When I had it, of course, it was 40 years since restoration and it had a few blemishes. The other thing that was done in my ownership was I had a set of Blockley beaded edge tyres fitted. Uh, they are around £1,300 a set. They have to be run at 70 PSI and of course they're in perfect conditions. Unusually, although these are artillery wheels, when this was restored it had actually steel artillery wheels. Now it has period, properly um, manufactured wooden wheels. So what I'm going to do is apart, give you a quick walk around the car and then I'm going to take it up the main road at around 50 miles an hour and then show you how it performs on hills. The model is an extraordinary model for Austin. It was the car that nearly broke the company, a very high quality car that uh, was very expensive in 1919 and 1920. And in fact, the Austin Heavy 12.4, which followed it, was essentially a miniaturized version of this which brought the company back to prosperity. So, mechanically, it's absolutely wonderful, it's extremely rare, and it's tremendous value for money when you consider that you're gonna to have to pay around a quarter of a million pounds to get something with this sort of wheelbase and this sort of stature with an engine of this size. So now we're going to start the vehicle and I'm going to take it for a run on the flat and also up a very steep hill, the, the steepest we have in this locality. To start with, I'll go through the engine starting procedure. The first thing you have to do is make sure that this uh, battery isolator switch is on. You turn the tap on. It's called an auto vac. That now will allow fuel to go to the carburetor. And now because the engine's cold, we will flood the carburetor. And that's done by lifting up this pin. It's called tickling the, car tickling the carburetor. So you'll see me lifting it there. And in a moment, you'll see fuel come through. There we go. So that's now flooded. And now we put the ignition on here. Immediately you see movement on the ammeter. 
and then this is a, a, a very unusual uh, starter which is a variable rate and wind that all the way back and as you'll see now we're showing a positive charge and the oil pressure is coming up